beautiful color wow. though. Oh, there it is. Absolutely crazy. So we took out a couple of them and we started looking up in the trees and lo and behold, all we saw was orange. Only the true alphas are hyper solar orange. Like this one right here. It's just a massive specimen. Oh, there's still one up in there. Yeah, he, there was a bigger one he shoved out the tree. That thing was huge when it hit the water. That's massive. Look at the size of that tail right there. No, look at the thick water. Nice work, Roddy. And I'm with CJ the Iguana Ninja. Yeah, what it is, what it isn't. So we got an emergency report, CJ, that some iguanas have been out. Been getting really close to landscape and really close to the back screen patio. So we're here to just check it out. All right, all right. We have some traps we're going to set too. Okay. But real quick, we're going to see if we can just do the initial eradication if they are here still. We got one on the ground. This is we we toddler. See that little small one right there? First one. Let's get it. Yep. Let's go check out over here. Hey, how's it going, sir? Iguana removal. So we got that guy. Nah, no, what it is is like, I think some people just don't really understand anything about like, Florida natural ecosystem or the wildlife, you know? Yeah. They just see a beautiful animal and, oh, it's an animal. It's in the wild. Let it be. True. I mean, I wonder if they think the same thing about pythons, you know? Mm. They probably do. They just don't know the damage. Once yep. you start telling them the damage and everything that they do to the ecosystem and all the animals in that ecosystem and what those animals do for the ecosystem, then they start thinking. Oh, okay, makes sense. Just open up their eyes just a little bit. Yep. Just open up their eyes a little bit. We do got that guy here. Yeah, that one. There's another one here. That guy's going up the tree. All right, what we're gonna do here, mm -hmm. they were here, but I think they went all across. So yeah. what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a trap for them. All right, that, that Pretty simple, you know? We'll have them face it here. And when they come down here to bass, like on times when we're not here, uh -huh. they'll be in the trap. Exactly. Exactly. We'll put some nice fruit in there and uh, hopefully we get them. We got some other sites to check in here. All right. Appreciate everybody checking in. It's the Iguana Man, I'm with the Iguana Ninja. All right. We're about to go to the next spot. Yeet. Oh, there was one right there. Who was that? That was an iguana. Oh. Beautiful. That's insane right there. Yeah, there's, there's other, oh, look, there's one climbing up the tree right now. Right there, you see the back of his tail. Yeah, I see the back. I see one, I see a belly of one too. Oh yeah. a giant orange lizard yeah roaming yeah, the time I, I look at an iguana oh look there's another one just like seeping out of the bush right there it's like right in the back yep, of just it. a little bit of orange right yeah can't hide they good hiders imagine the amount of iguanas back there yeah that we can't there's a bunch over there let's go over there Head on over there. Oh, look. Yeah, right there. Oh my gosh. Nice. 
Got him. Great shot. He's out. Oh, shoot. Right here. Nice. We got one more right here. Yep, just keep him there for a sec. Oh, no. One and done. We need to get to that other side, CJ. There's, they're battling right now. Great shot, dude. Thanks, bro. Double up on two dragons. Whee! All right, man. Let's back and let's get to the other side. All right, let's go. We got limited time, CJ. All right, yeah. That storm's coming. I got you. I got you. Let me, let me get it so sometimes it'd be a little funny. Snap. Crackle. Right. Let's get it. Uh, you ready? Yep. Nice shot. Yep. Oh, good shot, CJ. Thank you. There's another one by the water. Good. Hey, shout out to CJ the Iguana Ninja. Just flipped two of them. Level with him. Oh my goodness, nice shot. There's one more. The big one over there? Yeah. How are we doing on, on uh, lead? I have a few? three more, maybe. There it is. It is. Sheesh. Nice shooting, CJ. Great job. Nice shooting. That's how you get it done. Go on a man gang. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. You guys seen it right here. We're with the one and only. The Iguana Ninja. And he is bringing it. Uh, this one is. Oh, my goodness. That thing's crazy colored, bro. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful color. Wow. Look at that. Lime green. Shoot, he's right there. See up? Yeah. Uh -oh. Here, hold this. I'll go grab. I'll say bust him one more time. Yep. had a few more that scurried off inside these woods. We did get all of them. So that's great news. Check them out. These things are multicolored like crazy today. That they are. It's crazy. Let's go inside there and see what else is see what else lurks. Alright. Here you want grab the panther. You guys are seeing it right here, man. Just endless territories. The whole forest back there. So good. We definitely have to come back out here another time. Right now we have about maybe T minus 30 minutes before the storm hits. So me and CJ, we got our work cut out. The schedule will be here for an hour. So appreciate everybody tuning in. We're gonna try to get as many as we can. You guys seen it right there. Me and CJ with the trifecta. Three invasive iguanas in the bag. I 
I say let's let's go let's go get him. He's on the move. You got the hot streak right now, so I'll let you I'll let you go first. Alright. Dang, he's on the move, Doug. Oh shoot. That big. Oh, I see him. It's wind, bro. Yeah, it's oh, another big one right here. Nice. Nice shot. Yeah, this was just absolutely crazy. So we took out a couple of them and we started looking up in the trees and lo and behold, all we saw was orange amongst the greens. Usually iguanas are green, but right now in this mating season, a lot of them are turning orange. Not only to attract honeys, but also fend off rival, less dominant iguanas. Green ones, smaller ones, only the true alphas are hyper solar orange. Like this one right here. Just a massive specimen. Big head, big dewlap, sharp claws and teeth. Just a foe to be reckoned with. Pretty formidable lizard out here. And right now they're battling for territory and females. As we're just hanging out, another one approaches us, probably coming back to the tree to fight, but got intercepted by one waiting for him. Try to teach him a big fat lesson. Little did he know that we were the ones teaching lessons today and class was in session. There was another student that we wanted them to meet. His name was Aaron the Air Rifle. Try to walk as stealthily as I could, try to approach the situation, not to scare off any. And lo and behold, there was the other iguana. Iguanas are one of the only creatures in the world that right out the egg, they can swim, run, jump, and climb. For whatever reason, this iguana wanted to come back to this territory. Not quite sure if he was guarding it, but he found out the hard way today. Our Iguana Hunting Federation has many different contracts. This particular job, we get paid per bounty. That means we must get the carcass to get credit. And looking from this guy from the outside, he was kind of dark. If you check out his underbelly, hyper orange. Probably got kicked out the main tree and decided to come back for a round two. He's probably gonna go fight some more iguanas for territory. But he intercepted the iguana that we were trying to get and then we ended up intercepting both of them. That's just how it works. These steep hills right here, man, they do a number on hips, knees, and ankles. So make sure you stretch and make sure you're somewhat conditioned for these outside terrains. Me and the team can take you out on some of our jobs where we manage the wildlife. And we're allowed to bring guests out there. So if you ever want to give it a shot, make sure you guys hit us up in our email. And also, if you guys ever want to help our Iguana Hunting Federation, become a member and join. Also, we're gonna have merch available. It's been a long time. And I know a lot of people have been waiting. Thank you so much for helping all our hunters. They work day in and day out. Any contribution, can help us in a big way.
CJ is exceptionally gifted at iguana catching. I'm telling you, the boy just has a desire and a will to not only hunt the iguanas, but find them. Looking in the trees, he sees a rumble. But this is not the wind swaying the branches, but yet giant orange iguana making his way to the canopy. CJ has to stop him. Nice critical shot. Got him spinning in circles. At this point, we're just astounded at the feat we just accomplished. Invasive breeding iguanas, removed from the ecosystem. And just on the other side of the tree, there were a couple more hanging out lakeside. Not sure if they just got done breeding or just got done fighting. Either way, we got to take them out. The weather stays pretty warm here in Florida year round. Sometimes during winter, we get a couple cold spills. But in the next month or two, things are going to be warm as summer. I'm talking about in the 80s, 90s. And these reptiles will have completed the breeding process, moved on to the egg laying process. So it's essential to try to remove as many of them as possible. To be completely honest, we thought this one was knocked out completely. But as you guys can see, he had a little extra juice in him. Still, no match for Iguana Man and Iguana Ninja. Me and CJ are back. We just took a lunch. You guys seen we visit the pet store. And right now we're about to set some of these traps. And uh, what do we got for bait, man? Uh, some fresh. Tomatoes. Some peppers. And some mm, baby tomatoes. Oh, I guess we'll just use the big ones, right? Yep. Yep. Just throw each one into the trap. We don't even gotta chop it up. Alright. Just throw each one in the trap. We're gonna get that, we're gonna get started with that guys. So I'll give you guys a pro tip real quick. Uh, if you're gonna put traps and you're gonna put bait in the rain, try not to chop it up because uh, the rain will actually make the, the bait go bad if it's chopped up. If it's whole like that, it would be perfect. So are it is raining right two? now, so we are going to make sure they are all whole. We're putting them right by these bushes. Using these two? Okay, all the traps are set. You can see them all lined up. We just have them by each bush. Any of these are going to get any ideas. Hopefully they see the nice colored fruit and vegetables in there. Get attracted, go right in, and then boom. We'll be back out here about 24 hours. To the camp. That was all a right. wild one. All right. All right. Yep. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Dang. Got fourteen of them. Fourteen. You know, it's crazy that one tree. I wasn't expecting that many. Yeah. To be in that one tree. Especially a lot of these big boys. There's a lot of males in that one tree. Trying to fight for the territory yep. and claim those females. Exactly. One, two, three. You were spotting four, them left and right, right, CJ? Yeah. It's like once we got one, we just kept looking. We just kept seeing more yeah. and more. There's eight males, eight alpha males, eight giant orange males. Eight alphas? Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah, look. One, two, three. Four, five, six, oh no, six, I'm sorry, seven, seven and eight. Eight? 
Eight big males. Yeah, and this one too. It's a, it's a decent size. Insane, insane. Well, guys, that's going to wrap everything up right there. Appreciate everybody that tuned in, watched to the end. Special thanks to CJ the Iguana Ninja coming out here with those iguana eyes, spotting them left and right, and on point with those accurate shots. If you, any of you guys want to come out here, help out with some iguana removal, we do unter, uh, offer hunting tours. You guys can come on out here, see what it's like, be out here, remove some of these invasive species, and keep in mind that they are really good to eat. So that's exactly what we're going to do with these guys. You know, they're grass-fed, uh, non-GMO, out here just eating all the native plants and fauna of Florida. So the meat is supposed to be really nutritious and very low on fat. So like I said, guys, they are invasive out here, just like the pythons in the Everglades. They are spreading. Oh man, that bag might be a little too big. Yeah. Let's see if I can hear. Let me give you a hand. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, yep. Ah. All right. All right, guys, and that's a wrap. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, hit the red subscribe button. Make sure you guys go check out the Iguana Ninja. Yo, yo, yo. Ninja, how can they find you? They want to get in contact with you? Uh, on Instagram, Ninja, un sorry, Instagram, uh, Iguana underscore Ninja. And Facebook, uh, same thing, Iguana Ninja. And the email, Iguana Ninja 26, right? Yeah, Iguana Ninja 26 at gmail.com. Guys, go hit up this uh, Iguana Ninja. Wish him a happy New Year's. And if you guys got any other questions about a hunt or removal, you guys can hit him up as well. Oh, yeah. That being said, guys, we got to go. Rain's coming. It's the time rain for us. is coming. Start harvesting. Not right here. This was a small iguana right here which i thought you know uh was just like probably like a juvenile or something just about the size of them compared to you know that one but let me show you at what age iguanas start basically breeding at or what size at least check that out right there so it's not a you know that's not a pretty big iguana especially compared to like this guy right here like maybe like 20 times his size so this guy right here, I don't think he would go up against that, but you know, maybe they just know better. But yeah, at this age guys is when, you know, reproduction cycle can start. It's kind of like the same size as like a gecko. You know, he's not that big. Well, you know, for a gecko, he'd be big, but that's how big they can get. And he, this one would, is, all right, all right, buddy. I think somebody needs the OnlyFans, bye. Pigeon? Two, two nice stud uh, black drums right there. So schools of these big fish are coming in, like just like with the tide switching, shoot, could expect to probably see more and more of them. Check out some of the baits that they're using out here. <laughs> it's 80. It, hey. Got a school coming in. Yeah. Rain and hoping. Is that one of their favorites? Oh yeah, at least over at Titus when people will fish over, they'll peel up a crab, throw it under the bridge. Sometimes they'll get some giants.
Yeah, he's coming in. You got him, bro. Just gotta tire him out a little bit. Thank you. 